Today you will learn strategies to help solve a multiplication problem. Boys and girls, today we're going to be working with using different strategies to help us multiply. Before we begin, it is important to know why we multiply before we can learn those multiplication facts. So hopefully one of the strategies that I teach you today will help you understand the multiplication sentences better. And so we're going to begin by reading a real world problem and then we are going to be using the template that you have in front of you to try each one of those strategies. And Let's review. An array is a group of items that are organized into rows and columns. Equal groups are groups that have the same number of equivalent items. And repeated addition is adding the same number again and again in order to find the answer to a multiplication problem. There are three parts to a multiplication sentence. For example, 3 times 5 equals 15. The first number you see is called the factor. The second number is also a factor. And your answer is known as the product. We're going to use the strategies that we just reviewed to help us solve this real-world problem. Kamora went to the store and bought three boxes of tennis balls. There were five tennis balls in each box. How many tennis balls did Kamora have all together? Okay, so we know in our story problem that Kamora buys three boxes of tennis balls. And it was told to us that there were five tennis balls in each box. We are trying to solve to find out how many tennis balls did Kamora buy in all. So we're going to be using this multiplication sentence. Our first factor times our second factor to give us that product. Our first factor is going to be how many boxes did Kamora buy? Well, we were told that Kamora bought three boxes of tennis balls. Our second factor is going to be how many tennis balls were in each box. And they told us that there are five tennis balls in each box. So we are going to use our strategies to solve to find our product of how many tennis balls did Kamora buy in all. On your template, you will see three boxes. We are going to be reviewing the strategy of making an array. Remember, this is with those rows and columns. So we're going to be drawing a model of an array using that multiplication sentence three times five. We are also going to be modeling using equal groups. So we're going to be drawing those groups and putting the amount of tennis balls in each group to show that model and use that strategy. And then we're also going to be practicing that repeated addition strategy that we learned in second grade, adding that number again and again to find the product and to find out how many tennis balls Kamora bought. All right, boys and girls, we're going to use this number sentence now to use each one of these strategies to solve to find out how many tennis balls Kamora bought. The first strategy that we're going to use is the array strategy. So you have your board, you have your marker, <clears throat> and I want you to be following along with me. Up here in our top corner, we're going to be drawing an array. Remember, an array has rows and columns. So our first factor, the number three, is going to be how many rows? We have three rows and I want you to draw them with me right now. One, two, three. Perfect. And now we have our next factor which is five. We're going to put five in each one of these rows. Do it along with me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There are three rows with five in each. 
which gives us a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So by drawing an array, I can see that Kimura bought 15 tennis balls. Let's try the strategy of equal groups. Still using our number sentence 3 times 5, we're going to find the product using equal groups. Our first factor is going to be how many groups. How many groups am I going to make to find out how many tennis balls Kimura bought? Good. I'm going to draw three groups. Do that with me now. One, two, three. Perfect. Now, the next factor is going to be how many go in each group. Perfect. There are five. So we're going to draw five dots in each group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So in this strategy, we have three groups with five in each, which will give us a product of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Three times five equals. 15. We've done our array model, we've done our equal groups model, and the next strategy I want to teach you is repeated addition. In repeated addition, we are going to use our first factor and we are going to add that number this many times. So we have three and we're going to add it five times. So what I want to do is I want to draw five lines to make sure that I'm adding this number this many number of times. Watch me first. I'm going to add the number three five times. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five. Draw five lines across your board just like mine. Perfect. And now this is repeated addition. So we're going to be adding these numbers. So in between each line, I'm going to put a plus sign. Plus, 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 plus. And then at the very end, I'm going to add that equal sign to find our product. Now what we need to do is we need to put this number in those, box, or those lines. Watch me. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Now we can add them together. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. And 12 plus 3 is 15. Again, we had the number 3. And we added it 5 times, which gave us a total of 15. Today you learned three strategies to help you solve a multiplication problem, an array, equal groups, and repeated addition.